Hi everybody and welcome to my first Comic Con in a box unboxing video. I got my first Comic Con box right here in the mail today. And the theme for this month is back to the 80s and 90s. So I'm very excited to see what we get here in the box. Okay, and after first opening it up, we have a Pac-Man plush. I don't know if everybody can see that or not. A little, not a very big plush, but... It's something that I think I can give to somebody if they really want it. We'll see. And next I have is a Harley Quinn pop figure. Roller Derby Harley Quinn. That looks really, really cool. I think that's going to make an excellent addition to my pop figure collection. Uh, very nice, very nice. And next I have is a Scribble Knots unmasked figure, a blind figure, I guess. Uh, it doesn't really say who you get, it just kind of shows all the rarities. I'll have to figure out who I get later on, but that's what the box looks like. That's the side. Kind of look like Legos almost, I want to say, but it could, I could be wrong. So we'll set that aside. And next we have is a... Street Fighter pixel brick figure and the one I got is Blanca. You can build it all out of bricks. That's kind of neat. And then I have a t-shirt here. I wonder who the t-shirt is. Oh, that, that is a nice t-shirt. It's a Predator t-shirt. But it's kind of made up almost like in a Guns N' Roses montage. You got the Predator in the center and the entire squad there all, all, all around. It says, Guns and Muscles on the top. Welcome to the jungle on the bottom. That is pretty cool. I know somebody who's going to be very jealous of that t-shirt. And he can't have it. And then next here in the box is... Looks like a postcard of my favorite Power Ranger of all time. Mighty Morphin Green Ranger. It shows pretty much my morphing life, all the stuff that he's been up to, when he goes to conventions all over. He's probably the most popular person in Power Rangers still today. And then there is a code, a code for a free Ultra rare card, the Leprechaun Blacksmith. I don't really play the game, so I might see if I can hand somebody this card if they really, really want it. Heroes of New Earth. New Earth? Heroes of New Earth? It doesn't really sound familiar to me, so I'll have to ask anybody who wants that coat, the card. If they really want the card, they can have it, I guess. That's no big deal to me. Oh, and this looks really nice here. So the one thing that's different about Comic-Con in the box that I noticed was different about the Loot Crates and the 1-Ups and all those other different types of subscriptions is you get a artwork in the mail. So this one, one side has 
the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles on it. Uh, it's got a little bit of a reflection, but I don't know if that's going to help it or not. That looks really well done. And the other side has a Wonder Woman artwork. So that looks really cool. It looks very, very nice. I'm definitely going to frame these. And of course, they all got exclusive to Comic-Con logos on the side, which is all right. Okay, and lastly, we have the DC Comics number 12, first appearance of Harley Quinn alternate cover of Batman Advent Adventures. Yep, yeah, Batman Adventures, they got it right. And that looks pretty cool right there. That makes it worth it, too. Like a, like a lot of the things in this box that are different from all the other boxes that make it really worth getting. And then of course you get the description of all the items in, in the box that we just saw. Yeah, it tells you who the artists were for each one of these. And then it tells you the theme for next month. It's going to be Box 6, The Dark Nightmare. And it shows you a little cover right there. I don't know if that... Yeah, that looks alright. So thank you guys for tuning in and watching my unboxing video of the Comic-Con in the Box. And I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I personally did. I think I'll be making room for definitely for this Ninja Turtle artwork. That's going, that's going to go up on my wall. Definitely for sure. I like that a lot. That looks really, really cool. I'm going to have to find some place to put the frame in it. That's for sure. I'm looking forward to that. But I hope I look forward to seeing you guys soon at New York Comic Con, which is going to be a month away. So I hope you guys have a good 